Say bye. Bye. <laughs> bye, guys. How, how you like that? Hey Roses, so this is a follow-up from the last video. So I'm going to be trying to set up the software, initialize the printer and things like that. So wish me luck. All right. Now I'm going to go to my manual for the next steps to proceed. And um, in the manual package, you have your warranty paper you could register your printer on their website and stuff like that so and we also have instructions in a foreign language but we don't need those we just need our english piece right here and we're up to 10 right there there's where we are at so now it's asking us to you know what guys i should have plugged this in i should not be following youtube you know so the instruction wanted me to plug this in from here <laughs> you see that connect the power cord to the back of the product and an electrical outlet i have it here and i did not follow the instructions and i'm here telling you guys to follow instructions and i did not i followed youtube so now i'm gonna go plug it in i got my power card here and it goes in the back right here so it's in and i got my outlet here okay so now it's in all right so we're at 10 it asks to select your language but when you plug it in what they want you to do to not connect the power do not connect your computer yet okay so for two they want you to do that then choose setup blah 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 fill tanks so now we're over to 10. select your language country date and time setting right note you can change these settings later using the products control panel for more information see the online user's guide then for 11, when your Epson Smart Panel setup message appears on the LCD screen, select the option to continue setup. When the message, when the message to see the start here sheet appears on the LCD screen, press and hold the question sign help button for five seconds. <laughs> this is sounding very precise guys and i don't want to be making no mistakes so i'm gonna put you guys on the tripod and do this carefully okay all right so it says let's turn it on we're on i'm gonna tilt this so i can see better okay are you guys seeing what's going on come closer don't be afraid don't be a stranger we're all family here let's get you guys in in all right there we go all right so select your language which is english so i'm gonna hit what do i hit okay where's the okay okay english you can use your smart device and the epson smart panel app to set up your printer okay next finish setting up using epson smart panel i guess yes no i don't want to use the app no i want to use it from right here usa yes daylight saving time is it winter now i don't know i guess month day year 
so we could have literally skipped this part guys i'm just gonna take you guys away from all this misery and do it and come right back okay so i was just about putting in september but it's after 12 so it's now we're now in october happy october so one zero and it's a zero one for the first date and 23 okay now we're gonna hit okay and uh, what does that mean time form and 12 i'll just say yes because i don't know set time what time is it so it's now 12 52 1 2 5 2 a.m. It's okay. Ooh, it's preparing. <laughs> it's preparing. See the start here sheet to complete the initialization, right? So when the message does da 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 on the LCD, press and all the question sign help button for five seconds help me to count guys five seconds one two three four five let go okay it's failed so something is happening here i guess it's counting down now we're at number 13 it says Press the start button to start in charging and you hear all of that takes about 11 minutes so I'll see you guys in 11 minutes it's counting down so that's what it will be doing for the next 11 minutes so I guess we're coming down to the wire for the 11 minutes to be up my timer went off so the instruction manual says when the power light stops flashing, in charging is complete. Once initial setup of printer is complete, you can top off the ink tanks with any remaining ink. See the online user guide for instructions. Then it says, caution, do not unplug or turn off the product or open the inner cover while the product is charging or you'll waste ink okay so we're still flashing over here so i guess um the printer 11 minutes is not up yet so i might just leave that but in the meantime i was reading beyond here after some ink is used for charging the rest is available for printing press the ok button to proceed with initial setup well, it looked like I did something wrong. I guess I didn't do it the correct way the first time. When the power lights stop flashing, in charging is complete. Once the ink setup is complete, you can top off the ink tank. I didn't mean, oh, they want us to put more ink in. Okay, so let's, do we have to go? Okay, so I don't think I have to right now. Do not unplug or turn off the product or open the inner da 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 door. After some ink is used for charging, the rest is available for printing. Press OK button to proceed with initial setup. Press OK, okay? Align the print head to get the best print quality. Okay. Perform a print head nozzle check to check print quality. Okay, so that means we need some paper. 15 says follow the on screen instruction. You need to load paper before you can adjust the print quality. So I have some paper here. So I'm gonna put my paper in, we're in the back. Why this went bad? 
print. Let's open this. paper came out and uh, it has all of these blotches I don't know if you guys can see like it's not you see how right here is straight across up here is broken 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 are there any missing segments yes there are Clean print ed, yes. Proceed. Press start again. So, because the lines are broken, guys, I don't know if you can see, the lines are broken right here. It's asking if um, you wanna clean the print ed and stuff like that. So it takes you through like a process and you have to eat yes, yes, yes to clean the print ed. So that's what it's doing now with all that noise, okay? So after it's done, it's gonna maybe print another paper and I'll go from there. So after you load the paper and you go through all of this and you're good, which I'm not yet. It, it, number five is asking to connect a fax line. I'm not using a fax line. I'm not using a fax line, so I must skip that part and go to number six where it's install software. Okay, so when we get to this point, I'll come back. First coming out, and it looks similar to the first one. Well, it actually looks a little better. So this is the first one with all the choppiness going on here. This is the second one. Even the writing looks much better, but it still has some broken lines, so we have to fix that. So again, it's asking, are there any missing segments? And yes, there is. All right, guys, this is starting to bust my ass. It's about almost 2 a.m. and I'm still going at this. So I'm at the point now where it's asking for the least amount of lines in each segment line row here. But, but guys, it was printing. It asked me before I got to this. And before I got to this, I had to print like three of this. And this is the best one out of all. And I just couldn't keep printing, printing because I don't know. So anyways, it asked me about this. I did that. Then it asks about this now. So now they want you to find the boxes with the least amount of lines and squares. So seven... Seven for this one, seven. I would say seven again. Seven. It's all the sevens that have least amount of lines for me, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and proceed. So it says select number one line which would make that seven seven it okay then it okay now for number two it's seven again it okay for number three it's seven again okay number four is seven again Okay, number five, it's seven again. Number six, it's seven again. It's okay. 
then print now this is the paper that's coming out i don't know what's all of this select the pattern that shows no gap or dark line Which one do I have a gap or a dark line? They all look the same to me. So I guess I'm looking for it to be straight. So that I will look at turn, look at turn, look at turn, look at turn. Maybe number five. Or is it six? Let's say six. Number two. Number seven, look best than this one. What did I will go on a jam shop here? Yeah. Okay, I don't know what's going on, it's not aligning at all. All right, so we get to this point now, and it says. Choose the rectangles that are not separated or overlapped. Not All of them are not separated. This look overlap, that look overlap, that look overlap. So these look like them overlapping. So I would say number one, two, yeah, girl. Number one. Okay. Guys, this is a struggle. Are we done? I don't know, guys. It didn't say if we're done or not. All right, guys, I don't know what's going on, but me reach to the point of me done right now. I'm going to set up the hardware in the phone and on the computer. So I'll come back. Okay, guys, so I feel like this is a ordeal so far. Thus far. Let me push you guys back a little bit. So basically, I think I am done. <laughs> I don't know about the initializing and all of that with this printer. I don't know if it's done, but I am done. So I got to this point, right? Look how much paper it had me print. I'm still not even know if it aligned properly. But anyways, I got to this point and it said to do the do. It asked me to um, check the facts which i don't need so i didn't do that it asked something about copy i maybe should have skipped that too but whatever the case is i am done okay so at this point they want you to go to the software part of your um you're now in the portion of this setup where you're gonna set up the software to the computer the fact that no disc or not like that came in the box because most people laptops and stuff nowadays nowadays don't use a disc you have to go to the website and continue from there so i'm gonna do that a baby is coming <laughs> a baby is coming Come up, come up, come up here, so come up, come up. A baby is here. See? A baby woke up. You know, you guys see why I have to do these things at night in the AM, because they wake up and they come looking for me. I guess that's it for my video. So, thank you guys. Thank you guys for tolerating what I have going on here, okay? And I'll go set up the software off camera 
but um thank you guys so much for sticking around to see what's gonna happen it was my first time well not my first time setting up a printer but this one it was not easy the other one the 2800 that one was so easy to set up this one kick my caboose okay so thank you guys so much for watching i'm gonna do my little software thing and um i'll come back and let you guys know how it turned out if i had to reinitialize the printer and it used a lot of ink just to initialize these stuff a lot the black is almost out so i gotta go refill that and um, please like share and comment tell me if you guys learned anything from um this process and things like that and i'll see you guys in the next video bon voyage say bye bye <laughs> bye guys Okay. <laughs>